guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of year, it's Christmas party season, it's work dues, it's friends, nights out, it's family stuff, it's meals, there's so much going on. I love this time of year and I'm not pregnant and not breastfeeding this year so it's even better. So I'm doing a Christmas party dress haul and most of them are from ASOS and then there are a couple from Boohoo as well. What I'm going to do is show you each dress but it's going to be very difficult because a lot of them are quite long and then I'll try them on so you can see them a lot better. First up is this cute little one from ASOS in navy. I tend to veer towards darker colours for Christmas parties just because of the time of year and because it's autumn winter. So this one has a fun lace detailing at the front, it's high necked, it ties at the back with a little button thing there and it's relatively comfortable, it's got the adjustable straps on the back which is great and then it's quite see-through around the side as well so even though it's quite a sort of classic little midi dress it has got that fun little edge to it as well. The skirt which is quite hard to show you is lined tulle so it's kind of got that little tutu feeling about it and that swishy feeling which is great for a Christmas party. So this dress fits quite nicely, it nips in at the waist which is quite flattering and then as I said before it's just got that fun lace detail that just makes it a bit different. It was £52. Next up is this maxi dress which is going to be incredibly hard to show you but it has an embellished top half there with a high neck and a cold shoulder and then a sheer sleeve covered in sequins. It's a dark navy as well, really nice colour. It's also got that sort of tool, line tool detail, but it goes all the way to the floor. Would be really great for a ball or some sort of dinner dance, something like that. It's by a brand called Maya, which I actually picked quite a few dresses up from that brand in this haul. I'm not very good with things around my neck, so I think this would probably annoy me if I had it on all night or make me sort of do that weird gagging thing. But it's really, really lovely, fits really nice, and makes me feel like a princess and it was £95. Next up is another dress from that Maya, Maya brand and I really, really, really love this. I love the colour, I love the sequins, I love how it sits like this and it's just really nice. It's a midi length as well, getting hard to show you, there you go. And again, has that swishy tool lined skirt which seems to be the thing this season. Elasticated bit up here and then quite a like industrial zip on the back, very easy to do up by myself. I love this and it's just such a pity that they didn't have it in my size. I had to go a size bigger and it's just too big around the waist. But I do really, really love it and if it was in my size, I 100% think I would have worn this to my Christmas party. It was £88. This is a fun little dress from Lipsy. It's a midi length one as well. It's got that Bardot shape at the front and it's that scuba kind of material, you know, the really stretchy, almost like wetsuit material. To be honest, I'm not sure why I picked it up because it is so bodycon, as you can see here, and it's just not me at all, it really isn't, but for some reason I picked it up and I liked it, but yeah, I'm just too paranoid about my stomach, so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like on. This is a little tail bit at the bottom, which is quite fun as well, it's a bit of a mini fish tail. Like I said, I kind of knew how this was gonna fit before I put it on. It fits fine, it does fit fine, but I'm just too paranoid about my stomach, so I just wouldn't ever be able to wear this. It was £40, which is a really good price for it. Next up is another dress from that Maya Maya brand. Sorry, I just really don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna carry on saying both names, and I do have one more dress like this. But yeah, it's another embellished top one, this time with sort of little flutter sleeve things. The sleeves are more sheer than the rest of it. The rest of the top's lined. It's got a nice V-neck down there, and it's quite a busy sequin. There's quite a lot of them, which I think always makes sequins look a lot better. Sparse sequins just tend to look a bit cheap sometimes, whereas if they're all gathered like this, they look really good. So again, midi length there with that tool skirt, and then the back. It's really lovely, really shimmery. So this is nice, it fits well, I really like it, it's really comfy. You could go eat a massive meal in this and no one would know. It looks really good. It just wasn't quite what I was looking for because it just didn't have that oomph about it for like my work to do. So I didn't end up wearing this one, but I do really like it. And it was £75. Next up is this embellished dress from ASOS's own brand. And it's got a really nice front, it's one that's sort of sits up here and then it has these straps at the back that just hook around your shoulders obviously and the embellishment's really lovely and feels really secure which is quite important when it comes to embellishments because if one bit starts coming off then nearly all of it comes off. It's a mix of sequins and beads and the black on the navy is quite nice, it's subtle but still quite effective. It's completely backless down to your waist and what I really like is the embellishment sort of around your bum or around right down your back looks really lovely and so does the front part of the skirt so it's a bit of a different shape of skirt than the last couple dresses I've shown you. I really like this and it did fit really well. I thought it looked really smart, really nice, really good for any sort of Christmas doing and stuff. I just was a bit paranoid about it. It was £75. I absolutely love this dress and this is actually the dress I ended up wearing to my work's Christmas do. So it's kind of the same as that dusky pink one but a slightly different fit and obviously a different size it fit much better. 
What's fun as well is the sequins on this one are a mix of circle sequins and square sequins, which just gives it a bit of added depth and shimmer. But yeah, nips in at the waist nicely. A nice length again, same sort of style skirt, but this time in black. Really liked this, really enjoyed this. Felt really comfortable in it all night. And it didn't feel too dressy. It was dressy enough, but it wasn't too like in your face over the top dressy, which is what I sort of thought I would feel like if I was wearing a maxi dress. And it was 90 pounds. So apologies, this is a few days later. I had to wait for a few other things to arrive and also apologies because I'm filming at night using my light. So it looks a bit washed out. It looks a bit rubbish, but needs must. Not enough hours in the day while I'm working. So I've got three more dresses to show you and they're all from Boohoo. First up is this super cute stars one. So stars and moons are a massive trend this autumn winter. And this is a cute little mini dress. It is a mini dress. It's really short and it's got almost like, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like wings. I'm not even sure, but it's like a sleeve. And then it's got this bit on it as well and it's all see-through and then you've got like the mesh neck as well and the mesh at the back and it nips in at the waist and then flares out a little bit so i'm not sure how i feel about this one i want to love it i really want to love it but i don't know if i'm too old for it now or if it's too short but i do really like it and it was 38 pounds next up is this very festive number a bit of red velvet and it's a dress that's got a I don't know how to describe this neckline. It's like two straps, but they kind of both go off in different ways. Maybe an asymmetric neckline, not very sure. But yeah, it's an asymmetric neckline, we'll go with that. And then it's a midi length, so it goes down to like there. And it has a nice little band on the waist there that'll hopefully be quite flattering, but it is bodycon, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get on with it. Yeah, I think if I had more confidence, I'd be able to wear this dress. I really love the color and I love the velvet and I love the length, but I just really don't like my stomach. I'd have to get some serious spanks to wear this. It was 22 pounds. And last up is another velvet dress. It's a little cold shoulder dress with a fun little flutter sleeve there. A nice deep V wrap over neckline. And then it's hard to see, but it's a kind of wrap over skirt as well and it's quite a yeah definitely a mini length i do really like this i think just teaming it with a pair of really plain black heeled sandals would be good and i could definitely see myself wearing this out i do really like it it was 20 pounds and it's super comfortable thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed seeing all the dresses and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you very soon thanks for watching bye